Welcome to Ball Talk Deep, where we talk deep about ball. It's Andrade and Irwin back at it again. Drop a like, drop a comment, drop a sub before we get into it. We post five videos a week. And this time around with the postseason, the playoffs, the play-in tournament right around the corner, basically already upon us. We got a lot to talk about because the NBA is starting to get good and it's about to get real good. And more importantly, it's about to get real because... If you know anything about the NBA, it's that nowadays the regular season doesn't really count for shit. Like, let's be honest. I'm going to be transparent. Like, what we see in the regular season, what we see in the postseason, sometimes are like but then two ag- different things. But then again, you know, thanks to this new wrinkle of the playing tournament, the regular season kind of does matter. Cause yeah. Because you, know, you know what? Uh, if uh, We basically already told them what we're, what <laughs> where if, we it, side with this. If you're fucking bullshitting like our boy, uh, the Lakers and LeBron, it's yeah. not looking good. What did LeBron have to say? Let's yeah. see. If this happens to, uh, we end up at six or fifth or, or, or whatever the case may be, or if we end up in the, you know, the playoff, uh, whatever that thing is, wh- whoever came up with that uh, need to be fired. Um, but whatever. Well, hey, hey, man, geez, man. Uh, LeBron, man, more like, like Karen, man, the, the way how he's acting. Yo, yo. don't try him like yo, that like, shit. Yo, I want to see your manager. Adam Silver, I want to see your manager fired. No, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I feel like LeBron shouldn't get too attacked on this because I agree, like, LeBron's just in his fields with this. Like, in this moment, he's in his fields probably going a shit ton of thoughts going through his head and but i i he i'm uh, bro oh, you oh, can't oh. say one year yeah i'm four and then the next year but, when you're in the mix like yeah okay but bro that dude should be fired i would understand being in your fuse but guess what andrade every nba team has gone through this shit man they gone through That's their injuries true. the miami true. heat it seems like every single game something's going on oh tyler hero my 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 i broke my nail out of the game you know, type shit like that. So it, what he's saying is that, guys, keep in mind that LeBron is... One of the things that's affecting LeBron that I feel like is not getting brought up is the fact that he, this man is actually genuinely injured. Like, seriously injured. Probably the most injured he's ever been in his career. He even touched upon it about, like, this injury might be the longest... Like, might, might be a permanent effect on him in the sense that he might never be at 100% for the rest of his career. Like, he admitted that was a genuine possibility for him now after this ankle injury. And I think that... Plus the fact that he doesn't have a lot of time left in terms of like years in the league yep. is a big reason why he's in this. I, and also, you know, it just came off of L, all that good stuff. AD's also been injured. And I, th- I like I said, I think there's a lot of things that are going through LeBron's head. And, you know, it just the timing just didn't work out. And he said the shit. I feel like he doesn't really mean it, though. I've, I honestly feel like I he's, wouldn't be surprised he's, if he doesn't take it back. But like, you know, kind of like. He's half joking, half serious. Re, like yeah, like uh, uh, not not joking, half pissed, half half. half restates his stance on serious. the playing tournament. Uh, but based on well, what we're hearing right now, Andrade, um, the facts: the Lakers are on a three-game losing streak. It's not looking good for them. What do you think about the playing tournament? You think that's that should be something that should be here to stay, or not? I have to agree with the NBA on this one. Like, look, the playing tournament isn't for LeBron. Loki, I'm sorry, LeBron. Like, I love you, bro. This, he's, I'm a big fan of his, but fuck your feelings. There you go. It's not fuck you. It's fuck Dang. your feelings. Like, it's the fans' feelings. It's about the fans. It's for the fans. And it's a win-win for everybody. It's a win for the NBA. It's a win for the players. It's a win for the lower franchises, the smaller franchises. There you go. Not the lower ones. And it's a win for the fans. And I think overall, it'll help the game grow, too. Because, like you said, it makes the regular season more interesting for far longer. Of course. Far longer. Uh, yo, of course, man. The prime example, and you know I'm a huge advocate for this, Andrade. Dumpster fire teams. Who am I talking about? I'm looking at you, the Washington Wizards. Dumpster fire of a franchise. Not even a team. Franchise. Yeah, and it's not even just a dumpster fire. It's like, yo, if you get off to a rough start, and even up to the midpoint of the season, you're still going through shit. Guess what? You can still have a genuine chance of making it to the playoffs now because of the playing tournament. So you never know what could happen. And I I saw a no dunks today. Like um, Skeets even said, like in the past 48 hours, every single seating in the West has changed except for the A seat. So that's that's crazy to think about. Like in one weekend, it's like cards are just being flipped. You know what I mean? Because it's not just the lower teams that are fighting for it. What keeps the playing, what the playing uh, tournament does in helping keep things interesting too is now the top teams and the mid teams, like, you know, four, fifth, 
anyone from third to six, honestly, um, they're fighting because they don't want to be involved in the playing tournament. Because think about the players don't want to risk falling out because of one stupid game. And also, even if they're not scared of who of like losing that game, it's like, yo, they don't want to play an extra game. They want to get as much rest as possible. Yada yada yada. And I mean, if you guys can't tell by now, like Erwin and I are. Well, at least for me, I'm a thousand percent for the playing tournament. It, it, it lights up a fire up there, you know. You know yeah. You know, to, to, get, and to get like things. I mentioned earlier, the regular season, nobody. We talk. How many times last season, like last season of BTD, did we talk about like uh, regular it's season? Like, eh. It's like yeah, regular season's cute. Regular season's cute. But yeah. now with this playing tournament, actually, so it's safe to say, yeah, you're an advocate. You know, you're yeah. definitely, you know, same. Any tweaks you, you think you might make? You know that might. Work I'm for. I'm actually very curious to see what the NBA does oh. with the playing tournament because they're already presenting this playing tournament like even though this is only the second year and let's be honest it's more like the first year because last year the whole bubble it was a whole different ball game yeah um they kind of just slid that in there this time it's like okay we had a more of a regular season and it's like okay we're actually gonna give this shot. Um, I think it's so well executed already. I think the way that it works, once I understood how it's going to go down, I think the whoever, like whatever team was uh, managing how to set it up, did a great job of figuring out whoever they like ins got inspiration from, how to work that out with the seating and who gets to be in it. And the NBA is presenting this as of like, not it's as an experimental stay. thing. Like, yeah, like this is a, yeah, this is new and we're going to keep it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, it's here to stay. Like, very cemented product already. And honestly, I don't know if it's just me, but I already feel like it is. Like, I know it happened last year, but I already feel like, yo, we've been had played. You know what I mean? Like, I, it doesn't feel that much different. It makes a whole lot of sense. Like, and the only my concern is the history books. But, hey, that, that comes with innovation. Like, you, you can't hold on to the past too much if you want to keep innovating and improving. Look. I like it. It adds an extra layer. To, it, it adds an extra layer of accountability to uh, the middle tier teams and excitement, you know, for the bottom tier teams, especially for the fan bases. Teams like Golden State, they would be in the outside looking in as a night yo, seed. Yo, yes. Yo, and here the fact we have a play in tournament, you know, NCAA, you know, type of tournament. Like yo, win or go home, and you have who one of the best players out there, Chef Curry. He gets hot, yo. We talked about another yep. video, like the teams we wanted to see. Here's a card, and yep. Ga Curry and the Warriors are one of the ones. And it also gives an opportunity for teams like, for example, the 11 seed. We might touch up on it later. Zion to finally get into an environment which is similar in the NCAA tournament to see, hey, yo, what you got? This is your first taste of a playoff atmosphere in the NBA. Let's see what you got. Actually, to bounce back off your Zion point, one thing that the playing tournament does help, which I think is being underrated, is if you think about it, because it allows so many of the lower seeded teams a chance to be in the playoffs, or even if they don't get into the playoffs, at least to be on a nationally televised game that so many people are going to watch. Because the playing tournament, it is <clears throat> it, like it's going to have a playoff atmosphere. You know what I mean? Because it is an, an elimination game, but at, at the same time, there's no other games going on. It gives younger players a a quicker shot of being in a playoff and playing in a playoff environment quicker because, you know, a lot of these lower-seeded teams tend to be, even after they draft these star players, it takes a while, usually, like a year or two, usually two to three, three to four, to get into the playoffs if they're able to build around that young player. So now those young players will not only get to get that experience for themselves, so that's a win for them, it's also a win for the fans because now they get to see them. And guess what? An added extra layer for the players and the teams is the extra exposure. So now more marketing. I'm telling you, man, the playing tournament is going to help the NBA as a whole also grow exponentially. Now, something that I don't like, and this is me being a selfish fan, since my team oh, is, is normally known as being a buyer in the trade market, is that with the, you know, uh, with teams thinking that they have a chance, you know, making the playing tournament, there's going to be less of a supply out there of sellers of teams which is going to make it more difficult in the trade deadline for trades to be able to happen i don't know about you i like having oh. i like having an active i forgot you know, what i read but i read something about like be, i don't know if it had to i think it had to do with the playing tournament where like they're thinking of extending free agency or not free agency but like the trade deadline to be right before up to the play into some shit like that i don't know i don't know i that that might be a tweak that maybe adam silver does the tweak that i had in mind is okay leave the seven seed out of the way and nah, put it on the eight seed but 
Hey. Nah, nah, just one position isn't enough. And plus, you need an even, uh, even amount of teams to play for it to be attorney. So, like, two, two, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, hey, you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think, Do you guys man. support the playing tournament? Do you guys support the playing tournament? Or do not. You, do you guys uh, support LeBron, you know, how he feels? Do you not Are you at least willing to give it a shot this season, or are you not going to watch these playing games? I wonder if there's I, actual bro, demographic come on. of fans that aren't even going to like, No, I, I don't support it. I'm not going to watch it. What do you mean, bro? Even, like, the most casuals are going to watch this. Golden casuals, State. Casuals, I'm saying I wonder Chef. if there's, like, some diehards that are going to be like, no, I don't support this. I would, I would say this. You know there's people that there's get be emotional. Some, there's got to be some diehards, man. Traditional sports. I'm like, bro, if you're watching the Memphis Grizzlies play, you're a real fan, bro, because you know, Ja, you know, your boy, Trailblazers, Dame, Golden State. Just, I'm like, come on. Hey, bro. we might see LeBron in a playing tournament. Psst, man, that happens. That'd be crazy. Yeah, that'd be some crazy shit. Be the way. It'd be crazy if you fucking lose this. That'll break my heart. Because it's just like, what the fuck? We don't oh, have the yeah. Lakers in the playoffs. They just make their, they're like the Knicks. You need, yeah. The Lakers doing that good helps everybody. All these Michael Jordan fans are not going to let that go. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. They'll be like, you Look, know what? MJ would have never been in the playing tournament. Or like, if he wasn't in the playing tournament, he would have never lost. He would smoke them by 60 points. Yeah, or and let's be honest, he probably would, though. <laughs> Maybe. MJ was built different. We'll see. But either way, guys, go. appreciate all the love and the hate. You guys already know. Catch us on TikTok, Twitter, Ball Talk Deep, where we talk deep about ball, ball. Catch you guys soon for now. Take Later. care.